News just came in and confirmed what fans have been dreading. Cameron Smith will be exiting the PGA and making his debut in LIV. Although he's happy for his mate, Billy Horschel sounded surprisingly emotional playing with his neighbor Cameron Smith. What does the American golfer have to say about Smith's move? Find out more in today's video, so keep on watching if you don't want to miss out. Billy Horschel admits he'll miss playing with Cameron Smith upon the Australian's departure from the PGA. Billy Horschel experienced the epiphany as he descended the 18th at East Lake Golf Club, the world number two. Cameron Smith is reportedly among several golfers who will join LIV Golf the following week. So, Horschel had to gather himself when playing the Tour Championship's final hole with the Australian golfer on Sunday. Horschel said that after a 69 that put him eight under par and one shot behind Smith, quote, I don't know if he's going to or not, but understanding that this could be my last round with him on the PGA Tour, it was a little emotional. The 35-year-old golfer continued by saying that because he has known Smith for such a long time, he thinks the world of him. The American golfer acknowledged that if he goes, he will miss Smith because he won't see him as frequently as he does on tour. In case it isn't obvious enough, Billy Horschel and Cameron Smith are good friends, and the fact that they both play and love the sport strengthen their bond more. Horschel and Smith are good friends and neighbors in the Ponte Verde Beach region despite having a six-year age gap. The day after Smith returned from Scotland to Florida, after winning the Open Championship at St. Andrews, the two participated in a fishing tournament and drank beer from the Claret Jug. According to various sources, Smith would join the wealthy rival league alongside Harold Varner III, Joaquin Neiman of Chile, fellow Australian Mark Leishman, and Cameron Tringle. On Sunday morning, Cameron Tringle announced his decision to join LIV on social media. Cameron Smith would would be LIV Golf's largest signing yet. The company has previously signed Bryson DeChambeau, Brooks Kopka, Dustin Johnson, and Phil Mickelson. He is the highest ranking player who may move up to LIV and, despite having turned only 29 earlier this month, is playing his best golf ever. Smith won the Players' Championship on the PGA Tour in March and the prestigious Century Tournament of Champions in January before the Open in July. He has won two Australian PGA Championships and six PGA Tour Championships. As for Cameron Smith, he along with six other notable golfers such as Joaquin Neiman and Harold Varner will make their LIV debut soon. As anticipated, Cam Smith, the current Open winner, will play his first LIV golf tournament this week at the 54-hole competition beginning on Friday near Boston. The second-ranked player to participate in a LIV Invitational Series tournament will be Smith, who also won the Players' Championship this year and is currently ranked second in the world. For weeks, it has been a poorly kept secret that Smith is joining LIV Golf. Smith's own comments have not hinted at anything other than quitting the PGA Tour for guaranteed riches with Saudi-backed LIV Golf which is now scheduled for eight tournaments. Smith missed last week's FedEx Cup playoff event at the BMW Championship due to injury, and despite shooting a final round 69 at East Lake, he was never really in the mix for the FedEx Cup Championship over the weekend. According to a LIV golf release on Tuesday, Smith will be joined by five additional new participants, as Sports Illustrated reported on Saturday. The 48-player field this week includes the 19th-ranked Joaquin Neiman of Chile, Harold Varner III, number 46, Cameron Tringle, number 55, Mark Leishman, number 62, and Anurban Lahiri, number 92, the top-ranked pro in India. Bubba Watson, a two-time Masters champion, will make his LIV debut as a non-playing captain while he recovers from an injury. Since winning the Open at St. Andrews, when he would not confirm rumors he was joining the contentious circuit, Smith has began the topic of significant LIV golf rumor. Along with Watson, Phil Mickelson, Dustin Johnson, Bryce Jason DeChambeau, Brooks Kopka, Sergio Garcia, Patrick Reed, and Henrik Stenson, he joins other major winners who have switched to LIV Golf. Neiman, 23, who earlier this year claimed victory at the Genesis Invitational, was thought to be struggling with his choice after debating it throughout the weekend at the Tour Championship. Smith was vying for the PGA Tour Player of the Year award and would have had a good case had he won the FedEx Cup. Along with his victory at the Players' Championship, he also won the Century Tournament of Champions to start the year. Last month at St. Andrews, he won the Claret Jug with a final round score of 64. Despite the move to LIV, Horschel continued to sing praises of his younger friend and the fact that Smith has pushed through with its presence a great loss.
loss to the PGA as a whole. Quote, it would be the biggest loss to the PGA Tour in my mind, Horschel said. If you look at his age and what he's accomplished in star-studded events, and you look at the person he is, he's a great kid. He represents himself very well. Horschel continued by saying that Smith had the talent to win every other major championship after winning the Open. Many Australians win of dreaming at Augusta, and he's had a lot of success, including three top five finishes there. Furthermore, he hoped that Smith can play the Masters whether he goes or not. Horschel has been an outspoken booster of the PGA Tour. He won the FedEx Cup in 2014 when the bonus for the season-long trophy was $10 million. He claimed to have success the LIV reports with Smith, but he did not attempt to persuade Smith to divulge anything. Horschel stated in an interview that he doesn't try to sell them anything. Rather, he attempts to express his appreciation for them as individuals and athletes, while expressing his desire for them to continue playing on the PGA Tour. The American golfer did, however, add that he will back Smith no matter what the decision he makes. He wrapped up his statement by saying that he'll still see Smith at home and that the two of them will still go fishing. However, on a separate issue, a rift that had been fairly peaceful until recently has deteriorated into a series of petty jabs and awkward social media interactions, and at least one PGA Tour player has had enough. What exactly is the rising tension and who among the players have spoken out? Keep watching to find out. Billy Horschel responded to Lee Westwood and those at LIV Golf who criticized this week's revamp of the tour schedule as a watered-down knockoff after his second round at the Tour Championship. Quote, They're saying we copied them. We've had a $20 million purse before. We've had small fields before. We've had no-cut events before. Horschel fired back in a statement. Are they doing anything different than we've done in the past? No. They've got a 54-hole shotgun start and there's teams. That's what's different. In response to the tour's announcements on Wednesday that it will be adding additional elevated competitions with higher payouts and smaller fields, Westwood was negative in an interview with Golf Digest. Westwood claimed that he found the ideas put out by the PGA Tour players amusing and claimed that they were a replica of what LIV is doing. He asserted that many hypocrites claim that LIV is not competitive and they all point to the game's no-cut nature and its small fields as reasons. Now, funnily enough, they are proposing 20 events that look a lot like LIV, and hopefully at some point they will all choke on their words, Westwood concluded. As if that wasn't enough, Greg Norman, the CEO of LIV Golf, also weighed in tweeting a meme alleging that the tour appropriated the idea for their league from the Saudi-sponsored league. According to the meme, tour players now have have it good under the new system and may be less likely to look for alternatives. Tour players laughed at the idea that the modifications are merely LIV Golf's blueprint, and Horschel noted that LIV's team concept was first made known to the public in 2020 under the guise of the Premier Golf League. The Saudi Public Investment Fund and the New York-based Merchant Bank Rain Group supported the PGL, which was similarly a team idea with constrained fields. The PIF focused on LIV Golf when the PGL was unable to lift off. The issue, according to Horschel, is that people claim he and other golfers are imitating the LIV Tour despite his adamant denials to the contrary. According to Horschel, they misappropriated the idea from Andy Gardner and PGL and passed it off as their own. The Saudis had partnered with the PGL to strike a deal and launch their tour, but that didn't materialize. Quote, it's funny when they say we copied them and we didn't, but when you look at their concept, they literally copied someone else and stole it from them. Who is copying who? Horschel said. With that, we're wrapping up today's video about the latest news on golf. So what do you think? Is Billy Horschel right that LIV is the one copying them? Let us know in the comment section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching.